for this rule. When do we go to the next statement? Once the condition becomes false. And in this code, it will never become false because the Y, we are not changing the Y. Right? Is this clear? Is this clear before we, before we move on? We go to the, the slides. Uh, doctor? Yes? You, you mean if the value of Y becomes zero, uh, it will execute the print F? I mean, this is this is a while loop. This is a while loop. We have a condition. The condition is always true, so we stay there, right? Now, if I change this y here, y is equal z in my code. I will just put y is equal z. Is the condition true or false now? False. The condition is false. We go to print f. But if I do y, y, y is equal x plus uh, z plus x. So y is not zero, the condition is true. So does this mean, if it is false, we go to the next statement, right? So for your case, if it's false or true, we go to the next statement. It's the same execution. Because if, if it's false, it's clear. This is false, we go to the next statement. Now, if this is true, do we go to the next statement? No, we don't go to the next statement. We have a while loop and the condition is true, so we stay there. This is how it works, the while loop. If I don't have statement, I will keep checking the condition because the condition is true. I will not exit the while loop. It's the same for the for loop. When we do for loop and they have a condition and, and when they put semicolon, and we did this in an example. If the condition is true for the full loop, we have a counter, it increments, and we check it if it is less than uh, nine or whatever. It will go up to nine. I mean, uh, the, the, the full loop will stay in execution. Even if there are no statements, we keep incrementing the i until the condition becomes false. And then we go to the next statement. We don't go to the next statement until the condition becomes false. Now I have a while one while y here and y is always not zero which means the condition is always true i will stay inside the while even if there are no statements to be executed when the, the condition is true and we will be stuck forever and this is what you told me here right in this code this is true so we execute the statement and then we stay again in the while loop we stay in the while loop right So this is how it works, and same for the uh, if statement. Uh, which we did in the previous code. Uh, is, is this clear? It's false, we go, true, we stay. And this is what we do here. And the, for embedded, because we are, we are having uh, the y in the previous code that I gave you is just a variable, but in embedded system, this variable is linked to a, uh, you know, let's say that we have uh, my variable or my port is the dip switches, the value of dip switches. I have eight dip switches, and I'm using the, I will declare dip switches as a bus. So if I call this this ds, and then this dip switches is changing, right? When I change my, uh, switches the value will change so let's say that i want i don't want to go to the next statement until the first switch is on if i keep the first switch off for half day we will stay there in this uh, statement for half day uh, do you understand and then if i change it to one on, then we'll go to the next statement. This is what I mean, wait until a condition becomes true or wait until a bit changes. So if I have bus, I have a, a microcontroller. 
I have deep switches. If I just represent them like this, I have eight. And this is connected through a bus. Yeah, you know how to do this. I have eight. In my code, I will have a bus in. If I call it DS. And then, of course, I need to use the, the pins. And then, uh, let's say in my code, I have statement one, statement two, statement three. And then here, I want to check the switch, the first switch. I'm just concerned about the first switch. If this first switch is not zero, or is, is one, it's fine. I will go, I will move to the next statement. If the switch is zero, I will stay waiting here until it changes. Here I can use a while. And then of course I need to find the condition while with a semicolon here. This condition needs to be true when. And then I have statement four, statement five, and so on, statement six. So I don't go to statement four, five, six until this condition becomes what? False. What until this condition becomes false, right? Right. And I need to stay here if the condition is true, right? So I wait until it becomes false. So which means the condition here should be true to wait. Right? When this condition is true is when the bit is zero, right? I want to move when the bit is one. And you need to understand this. I want to go to the next statement when, so wait until switch zero is, equal, is on, is equal one or on. Uh, this is switch zero, yeah? So uh, DS has switch zero, switch one, switch two until switch seven so I, what i want to do is to wait until switch zero is on so the condition should be true when switch zero is zero right is this clear So which condition I should put here? DS and operator zero. DS. And operator zero. Zero. Yes. Zero, which means you clear all bits. Like this. How do I, how do, how do I check just this switch? We did this in the previous slide, yeah? How to find the condition to check one switch? I need to check this first switch, right? I don't care about the other switches. But DS has the information about the other switches. So how do, how do I do it? I need to check this one. That's zero. We did this, right? When we just started the lecture, I would just refresh your memory with what we did last time. And we, how do we check one switch? I'm going to ask you the question again. Uh, write the if statement to check if the first switch is zero. If statement to check if the first switch is zero. Uh, if, if the fifth switch is zero. First switch. 
on the first switch. Uh, from, the, from the beginning, uh, I'm talking about the first switch, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Um, so it uh, besides that one, we miss. It will be one, and the rest would be zero. Yeah. How do we test it? Can you please let me know the if statement that I need to use? I'm just asking a question related to this. To this one, we did so. We did the these things. Yeah. I'm just asking yeah. you. I have, I have the S. It is an eight bit. And I want to check the first bit if it's zero or not. This is what I want to do. Very simple, right? Okay. I want to check the first switch if it's on or zero. Uh, we use uh, if uh, ds and it would be zero 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 one uh, is uh, zero x one zero x. One. One. Yes, okay. if the uh, yeah. if it yeah. is uh, this one, yeah, this one. Mm. Yes. 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 And then I want to check it if it's zero. Is that it? If it is zero, that's it. So I stop here like that. Yeah. This is the only thing I need to put, or is there something missing? Uh, can I have an answer, please? I mean, yes or no? Is that, is that it? This is the condition, or 